transfer for what? We, we're, we're still in season. We can't sign new players. The transfer window opens in August. <laughs> Look, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. As you are aware, today is our last training session in Dar es Salaam. Our last training sessions at home. So I'm very excited to be here. I've seen the boys, they are ready. Though we have a couple of uh, injuries, and uh, some uh, players have got uh, some flu. But I'm, I'm sure that uh, by the time we get to the final, most of the players will be ready for the final. I would like to mention that uh, the issue of registrations and the new players is still ongoing. Um, there's a registration committee at Simba Sports Club that I'm part of. So that committee sits every week to look at the options that we have. And I want to mention that the coach, Sven Van Broek, has submitted his um, uh, uh, preliminary report in terms of his squad and where he thinks we need to strengthen. Sorry. So I would like to say to you that uh, all these speculations that are taking place outside there, they are not true. I read this morning from a Moana uh, newspaper that uh, we are going to fire players, we are going to fire staff and stuff. It is very irresponsible, it is very wrong, it is misleading for a trade of uh, uh, editors or even the, the reporters to go and put the story that is not verified like that. It's very, very bad. It's not good for the image of uh, uh, media people. You know, if you want a story, come, let's talk. I'll give you a story. What is put out there is not true and it's, it's, it's meant to destabilize Simba and we are not going to allow that. Simba is strong, Simba is ready for the final, Simba has already won the, 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 the VPL championship, so nothing like that will disturb us. So just for record, no player, no technical member bench has been targeted or is going to be fired. There's nothing like that. At the end of the season, we'll sit down with the registration committee and finalize our list for the next season. So I really appreciate this opportunity so that I can talk to you and uh, explain uh, our stance as, as a club. Just to re-emphasize, the, the registration committee is ongoing. We will soon uh, have the names of uh, the players that we would want to, 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 to bring to the club. Also, you know that you cannot bring players without releasing players. So it means you must look at the current squad and see uh, how best we manage it. You cannot have a squad of more than 30 people. You know, we need to manage the squad, make sure that everybody is uh, competitive, anybody is enjoying the football. So those plans are underway. As soon as we are ready with them, we will share with you. They will be in, they will be out. It's part of the game. When it comes to the window period, the registration period, some will be in, some will be out. It's a, it's a, it's a matter of, of, of fact. That's how game it is. Ongay, <laughs> ongay. You cannot say how many uh, uh, players you're going to take out or bring in because you must respect the reports that we receive from the technical bench. We must respect the process of the registration committee and their recommendations. So you cannot just stop on top of your head and say, no, we'll take out six players or we're going to take out 10 players, we're going to bring 20 players. No, it doesn't work that way. There must be a process that we must follow. But one thing that we appreciate as a club and as a team is to realize that we need to strengthen. If you are going to compete against your likes of Al Ahli, and your Mameluli Sundowns and, and, and all those other uh, a big giant in African football, we need to strengthen our, our squad and make sure that it's balanced. So your question to say Wachazaji uh, Wangapi, it doesn't uh, really uh, uh, hold water because we don't know until we've received our reports, then we'll decide how to go about it. Um, you would not know uh, which positions specifically you want to bring into the club but you are all of you football you can see where are the challenges in the club because you know football is a nice is a nice sport you cannot hide everybody's got an opinion anybody can see so for, for me to say no we will uh, bring a goalkeeper we'll bring a center back we'll bring a, a striker again is wrong what is my job as a CEO is to create an environment for the coach and the players to do their work it's not me to tell the coach who to bring and not to bring so that report from the coach and the recommendation from the registration committee will give us a direction how we want to, to move in terms of the players that we want to bring in and which players we want to, to take out. Ground is very, very important. You train at whatever time you want to train. 
you can prepare properly the way you want, no one's going to disturb you. So that's why it has its own positive advantages to ensure that you have your own training, training ground, you know. Not even the senior team only today, you know, even your junior teams, if they wish to train again, they wish to use the training ground, they can use it. So it's very, very important and I encourage other clubs in the VPL to try by all means to get their own facility. Sometimes you don't need to spend a lot of money, sometimes you just need a fence and a grass and you line it up, then you've got your own place to train. So it's very important to have your own so that you don't have to, to be inconvenienced in terms of trying to train at whatever time you wish to train.